back to the bookshelf here on ENCN discussion with Dr. Mikey Mandela on the launch of the book Mandela in honor of an extraordinary life. Uh, the extraordinary life in itself also came with a lot of pain, personal sacrifice. We, need, we don't want to dwell on it. But how, in his expression of what he was going through, um, did he, or how much did he open up about some of uh, the atrocities or things that we may not have heard that he shared with you? Oh, Dada, you know, Dada didn't share. Dada did not want to share the pain uh, and the atrocities. Dada has always been an optimist, and uh, um, Dada comes from the old school. You don't share your pain. You know, even if you had to judge Dada when you went to visit him, is he in a good mood? or is in, in a bad mood. But even if it, Dada was in a good mood and you started talking about um, issues or family issues, the closer you came to the core, Dada would basically recede uh, back because he didn't want, I, I, I think because he was forced in jail to control his emotion, he wouldn't want to be seen weak in front of his jailers. Um, and that's how he, and I think most of them survived, because they, they didn't think that they would walk out, although that was, had hope that one day would walk out. But remember, they were sentenced to life, imprisonment. And uh, they live under horrible conditions on the island when they first came. Um, that's why a lot of you know, have uh, chronic uh, chest um, and diseases. But uh, uh, as I, I talk about, you know, the pain of losing a son, when, and you can't go and bury your son, you can't have closure. Um, at least with Mahatu, although it was a very painful experience to see his son waning and dying, you know, because by the time Mahatu passed away, Mahatu had lost so much uh, weight. Um, he never talked about it openly. Do you think it could have been any different had Dada not been incarcerated? Had he been there uh, more involved in your life? Look, I I now have children, Cindy, and I, I now understand that being a parent is not just about giving birth. It's being there with your children as they grow up through the ups and downs. Because as your children grow up, they become different people and you become a different person. They teach you some things in life and you're taught by a parent. I believe strongly that if Dada was around, I think I would have turned into a different person. Um, at least I would have had somebody that I could confide, share issues um, with. And, and he was not there, you know. Um, my mom was a very religious person and saw the world through the blinkers of religion and um, it would have been nice to have another parent who's not confined to that, who has a larger view of life, you know, although that I himself was a creature of his upbringing in the countryside, in rural, but um, he had traveled the world before he was, you know, he had traveled throughout Africa, he had gone to London, so he had exposure a little bit of what the world had to offer. But life took him away very early in our lives. I, I, I'm leaving on the 15th for London, and there will be a launch in London, uh, and the book will be sold in, the, in Hatchet uh, Bookstore, and I'll be doing signings there. And um, friends and colleagues are preparing for me to go to the U.S. So I'm excited about that. And, I, and I'm hoping that people who buy this book will actually embrace their own ancestral history, their past, and, and, and really enjoy their identity in terms of who you are, who they are. It's a journey of self-discovery. And there's a lot for us to learn from our past, from our ancestors. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for staying Thank with you. us here on the bookshelf, only on ENCA.
So let's take a look now at reactions to the book for those who were in attendance. I think it's a wonderful book. I think that uh, it gives a very unusual, unseen, often uh, perspective about Nelson Mandela. But I, th I think that it's also about the story of the South African struggle. It is about all the people who sacrificed their comforts, who sacrificed uh, their, their, their families, their friends, uh, to dedicate their lives to the struggle, not just Nelson Mandela, and, and the impact that that had on their families, you know, people who, whether they were on Robben Island or in exile or wherever they, you know, they ended up during the struggle. I thought it was so beautifully curated and um, I, I learned new things which I didn't know but I'm so excited to read the book because I think it's going to be so full of things that haven't been mentioned before or brought up before. Um, I think that this is a treasure trove because it's written by Auntie Maki and you know she, she no one alive knows Madiba and Tata better than she does which I'm so excited to read. It. So my name is Muriel Mamwepa. Um, when she spoke about Utata being a present father, it's it's um, it's very touching to see that out, out, outside of everything that he went through, he still um, found being that person to his kids very important. So being that role that uh, uh, role model to his kids, um, reminding them this is what you got to do outside. Um, it's very inspiring and it's very touching because um, some people didn't have that relationship with their fathers. It was one of those things where I know the story with my father. Um, when he went to school, the next day he just didn't appear. So he just disappeared. So it, it's, it's nice to know that it wasn't, I wasn't the only one who experienced that. So I, I really did enjoy the stories. I'm Nomvoyo Guma. Uh, I thought the launch was absolutely fantastic. I thought Dr. Magaziwe Mandela gave an absolutely wonderful uh, insight into her life, into uh, Dr. Mandela, and I'm really excited to get into looking at the pictures. I came here to give her support. She's my sister. Um, her mum uh, is my father's uh, cousin. Um, and my father was brought up by Auntie Magazue's uh, grandmother. So when he came to Johannesburg and settled, he then went to fetch his cousin to come and uh, live with him. And on one occasion, he had brought uh, uh, Madiba to the house for dinner, and he didn't leave. <laughs> so uh, that's how we have Magaziwe and the three others. Um, so we've um, yeah, kept together and we look back and uh, she, has, she has overcome all of that bitterness and I'm still very angry. I'm, a fi I'm the feisty one. It it's good that we have a book that Magaziwe has uh, penned down. I suppose also she's used the space to get over her own difficulties because we, each one of us have had difficulty in, in our growing up. And I can see she's relaxed and that's good.